Hi there, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about the Online Learning Consortium's Exploring Spatial Thinking with GIS short course. Now the Exploring Spatial Thinking with GIS short course is going to be lots of fun and very informative and hands-on. Geographic information systems or GIS tools help us capture, analyze, and present geographical data in a way that allows users to observe and in interpret spatial patterns. This type of data analysis and interpretation is critical in almost every discipline, including geosciences, human health, business, history, and STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and math. Additionally, the critical thinking and problem-solving skills developed through the use of GIS can be applied anywhere. This workshop will introduce you to spatial thinking and cognition with an emphasis on collaborative problem solving using powerful yet easy to use dynamic web mapping tools. Our learning objectives are two. One, explore spatial thinking in a wide variety of disciplines and apply it to your own discipline. Number two, use GIS tools to capture, analyze, and present data from your discipline. This is an asynchronous, week-long workshop, which will begin on a Friday and end on the following Friday. The workshop will require approximately six hours of work, including reading research-based articles, viewing presentations, engaging in online discussion forums, and submitting hands-on, engaging assignments. Total length of time to completion is seven days. Now, who should attend this workshop? I would say faculty interested in spatial thinking and the where question, and also instructional designers. Now, the Exploring Spatial Thinking in GIS course is a seven-day experience that focuses on providing foundations and skills so that you will be able to teach spatial concepts through the use of web mapping technologies and also do research with spatial technologies. Throughout the course, you will explore and apply relevant research principles to understand what spatial thinking is and why to use it in your own courses and your own research. You will learn how to apply the principles through the use of web mapping tools to build an exciting learning environment. You will learn about the relevant research opportunities that spatial analysis might offer in your own research. Even though the course is short, you will have time to do some hands-on exploration using these exciting web mapping tools that you see here and to reflect upon your own learning. What are spatial thinking and geotechnologies? Well, spatial thinking is identifying, analyzing, and understanding the location, scale, patterns, and trends of the geographic and temporal relationships among data, phenomena, and issues. In 2004, the U.S. Department of Labor identified three rapidly growing fields for the 21st century, nanotechnologies, biotechnologies, and geotechnologies. Geotechnologies include geographic information systems, or GIS, remote sensing, global positioning systems, or GPS, and web mapping. All of these technologies combine maps, satellite images, 2D and 3D representations of the landscape, databases, tools, and procedures to allow for spatial relationships to be quantified and analyzed. Like other modern information technologies such as Dropbox, Google Drive, Salesforce, Infinite Campus, and others, even streaming music, Geotechnologies has rapidly evolved into a cloud-based software-as-a-service model, and we will be using these web-based tools exclusively in this course. So, by the end of this course, you will be equipped to do three things. One, define spatial thinking in Geotechnologies and understand their relevance to education and society. Two, understand how to use web mapping tools to analyze issues, patterns, relationships, and trends on a variety of topics, including population, health, natural hazards, eco-regions, agriculture, land use, energy, and water, across different time periods. And it scales from local to global to teach a variety of disciplines in an effective, dynamic manner. And number three, understand how to map your own field-collected data using web mapping tools. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the course.